In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can sharpen your memory in the age of information overload. In today's 24-7 society, we've all grown accustomed to living a hectic lifestyle. But we need to be aware of the dangers of information overload. Being connected all the time through the internet and social media can result in less information being correctly processed and stored in our memory. Our short-term memory, which is responsible for our ability to filter out information, is only designed to handle a small number of items at any given time. By trying to cram more information into our memory, the more likely it is to fail. Here are three steps you can take to sharpen your mind. Step 1. Meditate for a few minutes every day. Taking just two minutes to close your eyes and focus on your breathing can have a significant impact on your memory. To reduce information overload, it's important to take some time to let go of the noise and focus on yourself. Meditation works to train your neuro circuits to focus attention, relax, and let go. Essentially, by meditating every day, you're preparing your mind to let go of the mental chatter, allowing you to have better attention and mental focus. Step 2. Focus and Frame Practicing mini meditations every day helps to prime your body to focus, which is the number one component of a healthy memory. One of the main reasons why people aren't able to remember things is because they aren't paying attention. Information overload is partially to blame for this because it makes it hard to concentrate on any one thing. Focus and frame is a powerful memory exercise that will allow you to improve your ability to recall relevant information. Focusing is merely a reminder to pay attention. The mini meditation sessions should put you in the right frame of mind to focus. Framing entails using different techniques to give the information you're trying to remember meaning. When you find meaning in things, they become more memorable. Step 3. Perspective Review Time your perspective memory is your ability to recall that you need to do something in the future. Overcoming perspective memory loss entails teaching memory habits. Everyone has memory places that remind us to do something. However, with today's smartphones and virtual lives, many of these memory places have disappeared. To counteract this loss, you need to get in the habit of replacing them with perspective review times. To develop this habit, before you leave the house in the morning, Check your phone's calendar and systematically go through the appointments and think about what you need for the day. Doing this regularly will imprint a mental command in your brain so that you automatically perform perspective reviews before leaving the house. Doing these steps daily will help you to improve your memory and overcome information overload. In this tutorial, you will learn tips for helping you to manage digital information overload. In today's high-speed digital world, it's not unusual for someone to have multiple email accounts, social media, and messaging accounts for work and personal use. The problem becomes how you can manage all of these accounts so they don't become a distraction. Frequently checking email, social media, and text significantly hampers your productivity. So, what can you do to manage digital information overload? Here are three tips to help you tame the electronic jungle. Number one, establish a time for checking email. Many people regularly check their email, eating up valuable time. To reduce the time you spend checking email, block specific times out on your calendar for reading and categorizing emails. Most emails that you receive can wait a few hours, and often the issue will resolve themselves on their own. When you do get to check your emails, create a category system that prioritizes them based on their urgency and relevance. This will allow you to deal with every email by either deleting them or moving them out of your inbox. Number 2. Determine which social media accounts you really need. After determining which social media accounts you really need, only check work-related social media accounts while at work. For the other social media accounts that aren't related to your work, schedule specific times like in the morning, during your lunch break, or just before the close of businesses to check out these accounts. Number 3. Turn off your phone and limit texting to specific times. Unless you have to use your smartphone for work, keep it off while in the office, scheduling time throughout the day to check for and send text messages. If you are able, have coworkers and family contact you via your office phone if there is an emergency or through email for less important matters. In today's digital age, we are inundated with an overwhelming amount of information. Incorporating these tips into your daily routine can help you manage the digital information overload that you've become subjected to, helping you to free up your time and improve your focus. In this presentation, I'm going to teach you four easy ways to reduce information overload in your life. In the fast-paced, rapidly evolving world we live in, the myriad of digital tools can be used to access information can quickly overwhelm us. Our brains are designed to only focus on one task at a time. When we try to focus on two tasks simultaneously, 
It takes us 30% longer to complete the tasks, and we end up making more errors. To combat this issue, here are four easy strategies to reduce information overload. Number 1. Schedule weekly downtime. Our bodies weren't designed to always be on the go. To reduce the harmful effects of information overload, it is important to schedule time every week to rest. During this time, make sure that you are participating in activities that you enjoy and things that are relaxing. Use this time to rest, reflect, and reconnect. Number 2. Schedule daily downtime. It is essential to give yourself some time every day to rest your mind. Whether it's during your lunch hour, right after work, or some other time, you need to schedule the time to slow down and refocus on your tasks. Giving yourself 20 to 30 minutes a day of downtime will result in increased productivity and focus. Number 3. Immediately deal with incoming paper. Written information will quickly pile up on both the counter and your brain if you aren't careful. When meetings and events come up, immediately add them to your calendar. File important notices and schedules as soon as you receive them. The goal is to handle each piece of paper just once. Number 4. Eliminate email clutter. Just like with incoming paper, it is important to reduce email clutter as soon as possible. Find time daily to sort through your emails, reading the important ones and tossing the rest. Create an electronic filing system to store important emails that you may need to look at later. Evaluate the emails you receive and decide which lists you can safely unsubscribe from. Being able to cut back on the quantity of emails you receive daily will go a long way in reducing information overload in your life. All the habits will take you time to establish. Start with one and master it before moving on to the next. Starting one new habit today will bring you one step further to reducing information overload and gaining more peace in your life. In today's tutorial, you'll learn four techniques for beating information overload. For nearly three decades, the Internet has provided us with easy access to all the information we could need. This has been both a blessing and a curse. The minute you turn on any Internet-connected device, you turn on an endless stream of information. Unfortunately, this endless stream of information can start to hurt regarding unnecessary distractions and interruptions. Here are several powerful techniques to help you beat information overload. Number 1. Turn off selected notifications. Many of the websites, tools, apps, social networks, and platforms available encourage you to opt in to notifications. In some cases, you may need to have these notifications turned on. However, in most cases, you probably don't. To begin the process of reducing information overload, Start by turning off notifications on your device that are not necessary for your personal or professional needs. You also want to look at the notifications you receive from social media and determine whether you need to receive these or not. After checking the various social media platforms, take a look at the apps and tools and turn off any notifications that aren't necessary. Number 2. Unsubscribe from email subscriptions. If you get a ton of email from the same people or businesses and find that you trash or archive them without reading, it's time to do some cleaning. An excellent service that you can use to help you with this is Unroll.me. It works by scanning your inbox and identifying emails that are sent to you automatically. After scanning your inbox, it provides you with three options for each subscription. You can choose to keep the subscription, unsubscribe from the subscription, or have them rolled into a daily digest that delivers the emails you selected in a single email. Number three, get all your news in one place. If you're wary of unsubscribing from emails and turning off notifications because you're afraid you'll miss out on the news from your favorite site, consider getting all your news from one source. You can subscribe to multiple sources via RSS feed and get all your favorite blogs and news sources in one place. Doing this will allow you to stop signing up for notifications and emails to get the latest content. Number 4. Unfollow Social Media Feeds The feeds that you follow on social media can become a nightmare in regards to information overload. Fortunately, every social media platform has ways for you to unfollow specific sources and remove them from your newsfeed. By unfollowing particular sources of information, you can ensure that the data in your news feeds is information that you want to see. After you've completed the four steps and reduced the amount of information that you obtain through various sources, it's time to unplug for a bit so you can recharge. Turn on the Do Not Disturb feature on your phone so you can enjoy some peace and beat information overload. Four Time Management Tips to Tackle Information Overload In this tutorial, I'm going to provide you with several time management tips to help you tackle information overload. It happens to the best of us. We start our work days off by checking our social media, online news sites, and email, only to discover we've wasted several hours that we could have been focusing on important tasks. Here are four time management tips to help you overcome information overload in today's digital world. Number 1. 
prepare in advance. At the end of your day, create a list of the tasks that you need to complete the following day. When you plan your day ahead of time, your subconscious goes to work on your plans and goals while you sleep. Often, you'll wake up in the morning with new ideas and insights for how you'll tackle your day. A significant benefit for preparing the night before is that you can sleep more soundly, helping you to increase productivity throughout the following day. Number 2. Schedule your time. Scheduling your time every day will help you to reduce stress and release energy. Set aside a block of time every day to tackle your emails and check your social media. Using your organizational skills to plan your day will give you a greater sense of control and improves your self-esteem and sense of personal power. Number 3. Start early. Start your day early to increase your productivity. The more time you spend sitting, thinking, and planning, the better organized you'll be in your life. Taking a few minutes every day to quietly reflect before you start any undertaking can help you to clear your mind of unnecessary information and clutter. Having a mind free of clutter will allow you to be calmer and more creative throughout the day. Number 4. Improve your organizational skills. Commit to improving your organizational skills and use a filing system for both home and work. Today, people waste as much as 30% of their working time looking for misplaced items. The most straightforward filing system is an alphabetical system. You should also keep a master list of your files in a single place that tells you the title of each file and where it's located. Effectively managing your time during the day can help you tackle information overload. Follow these tips to increase your productivity and decrease the amount of information you're subjected to daily. 4 Ways for Getting Organized to Reduce Information Overload in this presentation, I'm going to show you simple ways to get organized to help you reduce information overload. With today's modern communication methods and 24-7 attitudes, we can quickly succumb to information overload. Getting organized can help you avoid information overload and improve your ability to be present at the moment and increase productivity. Here are four ways to organize your life to help you reduce information overload. Number 1. Create a clutter-free space. When you organize the physical space around you, your mental space will begin to feel less cluttered. Taking the time to make your workspace more organized will also help you to improve efficiency and productivity. Take the time every week to organize your workspace by reducing the piles of paper on your desk. Determine if the documents have been completed and whether you can toss them or file them. Number 2. Organize your emails. The sheer amount of emails you receive daily may overwhelm you but you can learn how to unload your brain of these things by getting organized. Schedule time during your day to handle your messages. During this scheduled time, delete messages that you don't need to read or keep. Then respond to those that need a response. Set up a filter system to organize your emails and folders so you can more easily find old information when required. Number 3. Use a calendar. Using a daily calendar to organize your time will help you remember everything that you need to do each day or week. Having structure will help you keep track of everything that needs to be completed. Get into the habit of writing in your calendar every time an appointment or meeting comes up. Check your schedule at the beginning of each day to see what you need to do and whether anything needs to be added. Number 4. Stop Multitasking You are wasting more energy when you try to multitask. It can also reduce your clarity and focus. Learn to focus on one task at a time by setting your priorities. Tackle these tasks that need to be done first and avoid distracting yourself by working on something new until you have completed the first task. Reducing information overload in your life can be as simple as taking small steps to get better organized. These four steps can help you find the organization you need to remain focused throughout your day, reducing or eliminating information overload. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the top ways to deal with today's steady stream of information to avoid information overload. In today's hectic digital world, we are overloading ourselves with knowledge. We think we're productive, yet we are paralyzed in a state of inaction due to information overload. When you begin to experience information overload, here are four things you can do to get yourself back on track. Restrict who you follow. Rather than becoming paralyzed from not knowing which expert to follow, Take the time to find just one expert that you respect. Choose someone that you want to emulate, someone you admire. While no one person has all the answers, accept that the person you are following use their tactics to find success. By cutting out the noise and only following one or two experts' teachings and opinions, it will clear up a lot of strife. Get some distance. When you start to conduct research online, it can be difficult to untangle yourself from the information you've obtained. 
Instead of trying to figure out what to do with all the information right now, take a step back. Try taking a walk or focus on something else for a time. Changing direction when you're struggling with information overload will give you a new perspective. Go on an information cleanse. The purpose of an information cleanse is to reset your current relationship with information and begin to shift it from consumer-based to a creator. Take some time away from absorbing new information. This includes anything that might seem irrelevant. Put yourself in a position where your only option is to create or act upon the knowledge that you already possess. Stop compulsively learning. There is such a thing as too much of a good thing. Even before you step into the office, you're already on the verge of overload thanks to the internet and social media. Stop taking in any piece of information that you can get your hands on and only learn what you need to know to get you to the next step. Information overload is the enemy of your productivity. It doesn't matter how high the quality of information that you're absorbing if you don't take action on it right away. You get to choose whether you're going to be a smart information consumer or a frivolous one, wasting your precious time and energy on too much information. Five steps to get your professional life organized. In this presentation, you'll learn tips for getting your professional life organized to reduce information overload. If you're frequently overwhelmed by your workload and information overload, you can conquer this by getting your professional life organized. You'll need to start by looking at the areas of your work life that need to be organized and tackle them one at a time. Step 1. Organize yourself. It can be extremely easy for you to lose focus and spend too much time on things that are urgent but not significant. One of the most crucial time management secrets is to do the right thing first. The trick is to stay focused on the essential tasks and not waste your precious time on anything else. Step 2. Organize your desk. Every day you have more and more information thrown at you. Between new mail, reports, invoices, proposals, and everything else that hits your desk throughout the day, it can quickly pile up. This results in essential things getting lost and in you spending too much time working on tasks that are merely urgent instead of working on tasks that are important. Step 3. Organize your storage. As you organize your desk, start thinking about your file systems. Consider whether you need to keep a traditional filing system in place or if you can convert your papers electronically to store on your computer. Whichever method you choose to follow, make sure that every new document that lands on your desk is quickly filed in the appropriate place. You may want to schedule time at the end of your day to go through all your paperwork and file accordingly. Step 4. Organize your cubicle office. This goes beyond organizing your desk. It doesn't matter if you have a large corner office or a windowless cubicle. There are ways you can organize your office that will help you become more productive. One easy way to help you with your productivity is to pick furniture that works for you. Step 5. Organize incoming information. Along with making sure that you organize incoming paper, you have to organize your electronic communications. Most email programs have built-in tools that allow you to manage your email and reduce electronic clutter. Once you've set up your email filing system, immediately file new emails into the appropriate folder. Consider each email and decide if you can delete it or if you need to keep it for easy access. Getting and keeping your office space organized can significantly help with information overload. Many experts agree that a cluttered desk is indicative of a cluttered mind. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you five ways to improve your time management skills to reduce information overload. Information overload has become a massive problem in today's 24-7 society. Having instant access to endless streams of information results in a decrease in productivity and poor time management skills. By learning and maintaining excellent time management skills, you'll find that you can get more done during the day and beat information overload. Number 1. Utilize lists. Lists are a great way to set daily goals that help you to accomplish more throughout the day. Lists do work if you use them. Make sure that the lists you make feel attainable and prioritize your needs and plan accordingly. You can even make lists for different areas of your life like personal, home, and work. Number 2. Set deadlines. Set deadlines for the critical tasks you need to accomplish and make sure you do everything you can to stick to that deadline. A good rule of thumb is to set your deadline a few days before the task has to be completed to allow for the possibility that you'll have interruptions that get in your way. Number 3. Stop multitasking. You may think that you can accomplish more by multitasking, but this is simply not the case. Not only is multitasking inefficient, but you are more likely to make errors when you focus your attention on more than one task at a time. Focusing on one single thing until it's complete allows you to better concentrate on the job and complete it faster. Number 4. Delegate. 
Delegating responsibilities, especially for those who like to be in control, can provoke anxiety. However, it is crucial to understand that you can't do everything. Delegation isn't a sign of weakness, but it's a sign of intelligence. Finding competent, reliable people to help you with some of your responsibilities will help you to reduce your stress and increase your productivity. Number 5. Utilize your downtime If you find yourself waiting in line at the post office or sitting in your doctor's office, you can use this time to start prioritizing your day. Make the best of these types of opportunities and get a jump start on your tasks. Effectively managing your time throughout the day will not only make you more productive, but it will help you beat information overload. Incorporate these five tips into your daily routine to improve your time management skills. Top 5 Ways to Conquer Information Overload In this tutorial, I'm going to tell you how to conquer information overload so you can start thinking straight and overcome procrastination. Every day, we're confronted by a staggering amount of information, which can become overwhelming. With the unlimited access we have to various communication tools and information, it can be challenging to narrow down what's important, which can quickly lead to information overload. Here are several strategies to help you conquer information overload. Do a brain dump. Get things out of your head by creating a list of everything floating around in your mind. You can also write down any thought that interrupts your workflow the moment it happens. Writing these down not only gets them out of your head, but gives your mind permission to relax its neural circuits so that you can focus on other things. Prioritize the items on your list into the things you can do today, things you can delegate, things you need to do this week, and things that you can drop. Subscribe to the two-minute rule. If you find that you have a lot of little tasks to do every day, set aside about an hour a day to work on tasks that will take you about two minutes or less to complete. These tasks would include going through your emails, phone calls, checking your bank accounts, tidying up your workspace, etc. Combine similar tasks. If you have tasks that are similar, like paying several bills, combine the jobs and complete them all at once. Completing each task once you start it is another way to be efficient with your mental resources. This forces you to keep your attention on a single item for a period. By focusing on a single task at a time, you will find that you get more done and finish your tasks with more energy. Avoid multitasking. When you multitask, you force yourself to decide whether to answer or ignore a text, how you should respond to an email, whether you stick with what you're doing or focus on the interruption. All these decisions spend the fuel you need to focus on a task. Multitasking will result in you feeling exhausted, anxious, and disoriented. Take breaks. You will be much more efficient in the long run if you take 15-minute breaks every couple of hours. Breaks give your brain a chance to reset, increasing your productivity and creativity. Steady streams of information have become a part of life. You don't have to let it become overwhelming. Following these five strategies can help you conquer information overload and start living a more productive life.